pinpoints where we've got to look. Um, so we're not looking at 650 cows, we're looking at a handful of cows that have got issues at that time. For me, on my day off or whenever I look at my phone or I get an alert, I can just say, can you look at that animal? Hill Barton Farm, 450 acres with a block of 300 acres of support ground. Currently milking 650 cows on a spring calving system. Run about 300 heifers, young stock. Rotary milking parlour, 50 point, which has got ACRs, milk recording, and we have had Smack Tech for the last two years. Prior to installing Smack Tech, I looked at several systems. I looked at the collars, I looked at ear tags, um, spoke to several farmers. All of them had their good points and all of them had their bad points. And with this Smack Tech system, for me, it seems to cover all bases, health alerts, uh, bullying alerts, particularly health alerts. The health alerts either come through on our mobile phones and in the parlour computer. And every morning, the first job is to look at the computer system, look at the graph, it gives you a better display on your um, computer. And we, anything with high temperature spikes, um, any kind of spike, we look at that animal. CMT, if it throws a, a high cell count, we drench her with water, we give her pain relief, and that nine times out of 10, she's on the road to recovery. Almost 100% all the cases of mastitis are picked up via this system. And since installing Smack Tech, I honestly can't say we've had any pre-quartered cows from having mastitis. There's not been a case that we've missed from the use of using Smack Tech on the whole, mastitis hasn't dropped, it's just improved on treating them. Uh, and the other fact with that, because we're picking up so quickly, instead of going, I don't know, any farmer does three tubes, but we, we, don't, we are using three tubes, maybe four, depending on how bad the case is, but it's far quicker, the cow recovers far quicker, because you, you haven't got to that stage of a swollen quarter, you haven't got to that stage of really cruddy milk coming out it's you're hitting it sooner and it's just improving quicker before smack tech we had e coli nine times out of ten the cow lost her milk for that lactation or or lost her life um, always had issues with that now if we have a smack tech alert we can see straight away the ruminations dropped off and we've had a high spike in temperature and we're on it and that cow's treated and we don't seem to cull any animals through having problems with uh, E. coli anymore. With ketosis, you can soon tell if something's not right. You've got the activity, you've got the rumination, you've got the water alerts, and you know an animal's not performing with just looking at that. And also, on the back of that, when you do treat an animal, you know the treatment's working because you can see the drinking has increased, the rumination starts climbing back up to where it should be. That's probably one of the nicest things to see when a treatment is working, that after you've treated her, it all goes back to normal. The antibiotic use has definitely dropped um, because we're not treating the cows for, for so long. Um, we, we, in the past, we've had cows on antibiotics for seven days to try and get rid of that case, or, or you lose the quarter. Um, now it's generally rule of thumb, it's three days of tubes and some pen strep and the animals back in the tank. Because we're like spring calving, we can calve up to 35 cows a day and it's, it's pretty intense. Since having Smack Tech, we get the, the calving alerts, which has saved a number of calves. I can think of a number of cases where we've had a temperature alert and I've just asked the guys, go and check that cow in the big shed. Um, they go off and well, she's bagging up, she's almost ready to calve. So pull her out and she calves on the, the cow, calves on straw and it's all under control, whereas before, that animal would have calved, probably got caught in automatic scrapers and um, it just would have made a hard start for that calf. With the heat detection, we use it to see if the cow's cycling first before we start breeding. So we pull out anything that isn't cycling or we pull out anything that is cycling too many times. Um, and on the day of service, we go by the window, which is a good time to serve or if it's slightly late or if it's too late to serve. Um, and it's an area that is just it belts and braces to confirm that animal is bullying. It's, uh, there's times I've missed animals uh, and Smack Tech's picked it up. Also with the system, the drinking alerts, which certainly with this hot summer is, is highlighted if, if we're getting a, obviously a water shortage. It also highlights if we've got a problem with a drinker. 
Um, we, we get a number of notifications that cows haven't drunk in a while and that's been a pretty valuable item to have for the system. With Smack Tech, it's given me the opportunity of seeing the cow's health without being in the parlour all the time. Um, with finding people wanting to work in the industry, the skill set is probably slightly lower than what it used to be years ago. Uh, the stockmanship skills have gone. One day I was getting the cows in in the spring, every animal was absolutely full of milk and one cow just stood out like a sore thumb. She had no milk on her, looked very sick. And I just happened to watch her walk on the parlour and I just wanted to see if anyone would pick that animal up. Clusters went on and she went around and if I hadn't have been there to say pull that animal out, she would have left the herd. Whereas now I'm on my day off, um, on the way, I can look at my phone and see if there's an issue going on with the cows and then I can send a text to whoever and just to remind them to look at that animal. It pinpoints where we've got to look. Um, so we're not looking at 650 cows, we're looking at a handful of cows that have got issues at that time. For me, on my day off or whenever I look at my phone or get an alert, I can just say, can you look at that animal? It's like that 247 over there. She would be a, either a dead cow or completely knackered if we hadn't picked up that E. coli. Uh, and so it, that's the cost and you can't put that cost down. You, you can't account that cost. Uh, it's something you've got to look back and look at the bigger picture. It's definitely worth having. Prior to installing Smack Tech, uh, the competitors said uh, how difficult it was with in putting boluses in all the cows and putting up different antennas, but the, the system has been absolutely trouble free. Once the antennas are installed by Smack Tech themselves, they help with installing the boluses in the cows. The support has been second to none. Um, if there's ever an issue, Helen's always at the end of the phone and she's actually notifying me if a bolus hasn't been read for a, a couple of days. I can't fault the whole support from Smack Tech. Smack Tech at the moment, I don't see a system on the market that will give you the detail in health. It's just, for me, I'm always looking just to see what's around the corner or, or what, what's on the market. And at the moment, having the health alerts, having that bolus inside the cow, giving you her temperature, there's just second to none. And it's just work, worked perfectly. And I would recommend it if anybody asked me, would you install it again? And the answer would be yes.